Okay, somebody asked me to do a review of a more in-depth review of the HP Pocket PC. This is the RX 3115 model. It was their entry level uh, model for, oh shoot, I can't remember when these things came out, but several, several years ago. Probably around 2003, since that's the operating system it was running, maybe as late as 2005. Now, it's running Pocket PC 2003. Well, people say, oh, it's Windows, I can run anything I want. Well, no, not exactly. This is based off the Windows CE operating system, which is different from XP, Vista, 7, whatever you want to use. It's designed for this little bitty processor in here rather than your desktop's processor. So you have to make sure you get the Windows CE or Pocket PC version of whatever program you want to put on here, otherwise it's not going to work. And also, some programs require you to load it from the memory card that you can put in the top. 2 gigabyte SD is in there now, that's the max. Or require you to active sync it through your computer through the USB port on the bottom here. Now, it uses a special connector, so if you don't have it or you've lost it, there, you, that you can buy them off eBay for about 2 bucks, pretty cheap. It also charges through that port on the bottom. So, once you've installed it both ways, if you install it from your computer, it'll probably show up in your programs here. For example, Winamp and Slick I installed. The rest of them was already there. Or, if you put them on your SD card, you usually have to go into your programs, into your file explorer, and it'll usually dump you into my, my device. If not, click this up here and go to my device, and you'll see SD card. You also see My Documents, which My Documents is the inbuilt storage of the unit, which is only about 50 or so megabytes, so you really don't want to put a, too much there. It comes with some stuff preloaded, and that's also where your playlists will end up for Windows Media Player. But since they're really small, you don't have to worry about it. Your SD card is going to be your main source for storage. That's where you want to keep everything, be it videos, music, etc. And that's where you also find whatever programs you put on the card will be in here. As you can see, I have quite a bit on there. All you have to do is Google them. I'm sh they're out there all over the place, and they're usually free. Anywhere from office extra office tools to utilities to manage programs and reserves, basically like tax task manager, anywhere to even emulators for NES games. There's Super Mario. It runs them really well. It can do a lot of stuff as long as you realize that the power on it is not as much as a regular computer. So it's only got about a four, three or four hundred megahertz processor depending on what model you have. So you're not going to be able to do a whole heck of a lot with it. But you can do quite a bit as long as you keep in mind the limitations. Now, it has your typical Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now, some of the Bluetooth services it offers, for example, new, for access internet via phone, that's useless. No new phones support that. ActiveSync via Bluetooth might work if your PC has Bluetooth. I haven't tested it. I don't have one. Browse files, that'll work. Connect to a network, that ain't gonna work. Join a personal, not unless you find somebody else with one of these things. Once again, exchange business cards, not unless you find somebody with one of these. Gonna be kinda rare nowadays because they're really becoming out of date even though they're still useful. Not too many people want them. They all have smartphones. I do too, but I just like this better. So, cancel that out. Bluetooth, typical transfer files, short range, flip it between your phone if you feel like I've sent pictures from my phone to that, music from my phone to this, works pretty good. Wi-Fi can be a little finicky when you want to get it going. I've noticed that if you first turn it on here, don't go into settings just yet, wait for the notification to pop up up here, and then select your network from the little bubble that will come down it seems to work a little more reliable that way. Now, it can if you do go into settings, it'll show you all the available that are picking up and some that are unavailable that you have saved and added later. For example, this Netgear here was my ants network. So if you want to go this way, can't guarantee it'll work. Select that. Tell it what it connects to, your internet or work network. Go to your network key, punch in 
whatever information. It supports up to WPA, PSK, no WPA2, and disabled or WP. So let's see if it will let me connect. If you long click and hit connect, instead of just tapping it and hit OK, ah, you see it's being finicky again. I have no password or username or domain logon. So, but if you do wait for it to come up up there, it may take a little while, but it's a lot re more reliable. Now, these are just your basic um, organization, calendar, we all know what that is, task list, once again, we all know what that is, it organizes your tasks. You click your clock, there's your alarms and such pretty self-explanatory. You can hit new in the bottom corner down here. It lets you make a new document, task, note, message, Excel workbook, contact or appointment. Once again, pretty self-explanatory. Now, this home screen layout is not how it defaultly comes from the factory. From the factory, it will come with the IPAC Entertainment main screen, which will look like this, minus the clock which lets you access your photos, your mobile media, and your home control. I don't use any of these, so I turn it off because I find it more productive to have my organization things. So, if you want, go to Start, Settings, and Today, go over here to Items, and uncheck that, and check whatever else you want up there. You'd be it your messaging, which is your email, or etc. Now, now that we have that set up, we are ready to use our organization. So, your typical, when you hit start, you have your calendar, your contacts, your Internet Explorer, if you were connected to Wi-Fi, Windows Media, and Messaging. Messaging is your email. I've never set it up because I don't use email that much. I use text messages more. And plus, my email automatically gets forwarded to my phone. I never bothered. you. If you know more about email, please set it up. I don't know how. Now, Windows Media, for all you music and movie buffs out there, works really good for music. Movies, not so much. It can play them, but it will have a f skip every few seconds where it doesn't have enough memory to keep up with playing a video. On smaller videos, maybe no more than 30 seconds, works just fine but if you're going to try and watch a movie on this thing be prepared to have skips every now and again as for music like I said works just fine you can use the headphone port which is a standard size or the built-in speaker which is behind these buttons now the nice thing about it is, is you can start up Windows Media Player exit out be doing whatever you want and these buttons in the middle will still control it for volume up volume down pause play skip etc that's a pretty nice feature if you want to surf the internet while you're watching, organize your task, I mean, uh, while you're listening, organize your tasks, or etc. Now, it comes with a variety of programs installed on there. I've done a few. Pocket TV that lets you do movies of a MPEG-1 format. Windows Move Media Player does WMV format, and no other movie formats are supported with these programs. Nevo is pretty cool. It allows you to control anything with a remote control via the IR receiver on the top, like your PS2 or VCR, my TV, DVD player, etc. Anything you pretty much want. You can even set up multiple rooms if you'd like. MSN Messenger, typical messaging service. I have found a Skype for those of you who want. It would be, let's see messengers Skype it does support voice calls however it doesn't do them very well or very reliably and I think that's because of the low power of this machine it just simply can't keep up with it however text works just fine go away go away no, I'm still trying to load while it's still loading that sometimes larger files it will take a little while once again you have to keep in mind that this doesn't have as much power as your home computer. So files that are several megabytes in size, yeah, see it finally loaded and next out. May take a little while, but it will get there eventually. Now, you have your network, 